This is the atmosphere. Over the years, humans have carelessly pumped billions of tons of emissions into the sky, and now the consequences are coming back to bite us. It's a global problem, but certain countries have played a much larger role in pushing us to the brink. All of us have contributed to the climate crisis, but these are the 10 countries who have done the most damage over the years. Rounding out the bottom are Japan with 2.7% of the world's emissions and Canada with 2.6%. Those numbers might not seem like a lot, but remember, we're talking about megatons of carbon dioxide spewed into the atmosphere since 1850. Next is the UK with 3%, followed by India at 3.4%. Germany takes sixth place with 3.5%, and Indonesia has contributed 4.1%, while Brazil is responsible for 4.5%. Not very full, is it? That's because we're getting to the true culprits now. Russia is the third highest historical contributor with 6.9%. China is in second place with a whopping 11.4% of the global total, meaning it's responsible for about 0.1 degrees Celsius of warming to date. In fact, China has surpassed America as the world's largest annual emitter of CO2 in recent years. But historically, the country doesn't even come close to the U.S. Since the Industrial Revolution, the United States has emitted 509 gigatons of CO2 into the atmosphere, a staggering 20.3% of the total, nearly doubling China and tripling Russia. By far, it's the richer countries that have done most of the damage to our atmosphere and environment, leaving lower-income countries in the global south to suffer for our actions. When it comes to the climate crisis, our cup runneth over. And while pointing fingers doesn't solve problems, it does show upon whom the onus to fix things lies, and that's largely with America. The transformative climate provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act have recently become law, allotting roughly $369 billion of investment in clean energy and environmental justice. State and city governments have a crucial role in combating the climate crisis, enacting policies and prioritizing budget that will reduce carbon output and strengthen protections for the environment. There are 36 gubernatorial races alone this year, in addition to the countless other state and local offices up for grabs. America has helped make the mess that is the climate crisis, but in this election, America also has the opportunity to clean it up.